Welcome guys, today in this video we will be taking a look at the top 5 airdrop weapons, although there is only 5 airdrop weapons, so this video is more like ranking the top 5 best airdrop weapons in PUBG Mobile. So coming at the number 5 spot, it's none other than the AUG A3, I'm sure that everyone will agree, that the AUG A3 is the least powerful weapon or the weakest gun, that you can get from an airdrop, because it's the only weapon, that will be left out in the airdrop as nobody picks it up. If you ever gone to an already looted airdrop, there is a higher chance that you will find the AUG A3 over there. Most people don't even bother picking up the AUG from the airdrop and hiding it somewhere nearby so that other people won't be able to get it. The reason why many players chose not to use AUG A3 is because it's not any better than the all-time favorite M416, of course AUG A3 is slightly better. However if you look in this perspective you'll start understanding what I mean. For example, if we look at the damage, AUG A3, M416, Scar L all these guns have identical damage, even the rate of fire or firing speed is also identical. But the only advantage that AUG A3 gets is faster bullet speed or bullet velocity and slightly better stability while controlling recoil. But the downside of AUG A3 is in close range with its slow reloading speeds, it takes almost 1.4 seconds more time to reload its magazine when compared to M4 which is obviously a big disadvantage for AUG A3. I mean airdrop weapons are supposed to be better than the normal weapons, for example at the number 4 spot, we have AWM, unlike AUG, this sniper rifle is the strongest and the most powerful sniper in the entire game, it outperforms any other sniper rifles and making it the deadliest sniper in the game. Om gun sound itself scares half of the players away because it has the ability to one-shot kill when hitting a headshot, while other snipers doesn't have that ability. So this is something that OM can only do, and that makes it a unique and dangerous sniper rifle that makes other players hide in sight instead of peeking from windows. But some of you might be asking, if OM is really this powerful then, why it's not in a higher position in this list. Some of you are angry that OM is not on number 1 spot. But let me explain why I gave OM the number 4 rank. Well the OM has the highest damage per bullet, and that is possible because it uses a special kind of ammunition known as .300 Magnum. This Magnum ammo is very rare as it cannot be found normally on ground, it can only be obtained from airdrops along with the OM. You only get 30 rounds of .300 Magnum ammunition. Once you run out of ammo, the OM is basically useless, you would swap with any weapon you find next. So the only problem with OM is its ammunition, other than that it's a god-tier weapon. Anyway now at the number 3 spot we have Groza, unlike AUG A3. Groza is a better version of AKM and barrel it carries the same damage of an AKM and it even shoots about 20% faster than AKM. For example with AKM you can do about 480 damage per second, whereas the Groza would deal 20% more damage than AKM which means Groza will do about 576 damage per second, just a reminder it only takes 100 damage to take down your opponent. So in terms of power Groza is extremely powerful, but also while maintaining reasonable recoil. Everyone knows AKM's recoil is very hard to control, however the Groza's recoil is reasonably low, especially when this both guns do the same amount of damage per bullet. Keep in mind that the AKM is using compensator here, without compensator it would gain around 15% more recoil. And the crazy thing about the Groza is that it doesn't require any attachments to have this low recoil, it comes with this recoil right out of the airdrop, and the suppressor is an optional, but I would highly recommend using it, however it doesn't affect the recoil, it only affects the sound, I kinda feel like Groza without suppressor feels a bit off. What do you guys think, Groza without suppressor or with suppressor, let me know in the comment section. All these things makes the Groza the most powerful and strongest assault rifle in PUBG Mobile. Groza truly deserves to be at number 3 spot, because at the number 2 spot we have MG3, a light machine gun that recently got added to this game about 7 months ago, and MG3 replaced the M249 in the airdrops, so now the M249 is a world spawn weapon. Can MG3 be a replacement for it? Well MG3 is way more powerful than the old M249 that we had in airdrops, recently PUBG nerfed MG3 or decreased its power, because it was too powerful, even after the changes the MG3 gone through it's still strong and powerful. However MG3 doesn't have that high damage, even when it's using 7.62 ammunition, it's slightly lower than an M416. But this low damage doesn't really matter that much, since MG3 can fire extremely fast, it can fire up to 16.5 bullets per second, 
if we do some calculations, we get 660 damage per second, which is crazy high DPS, it can literally destroy squads within seconds. But the problem with MG3 is that you'll run out of ammo very quickly as it shoots extremely fast, within 4.5 seconds you will empty the MG3's 75 rounds magazine. So MG3 is basically suffering from success. The best thing about the MG3 is its recoil, which is very low, when we compare how fast it shoots, and how much damage it can deal in a second. But recently its recoil has been increased by 10%, but it's still very easy to control this gun. MG3 could actually get that number one spot, but it cannot beat the MK14, so coming at the number one spot, we have MK14 the most powerful weapon in the entire game. Ok so I don't need to give any introduction for this weapon, because everyone knows this is a DMR, which just happens to have a automatic fire mode that gives it a full advantage in close combat fight. MK14 has the highest damage in any fully automatic weapon and you can use this weapon at any range it would be fine, however in close range you may need that extended mag otherwise 10 rounds won't be enough for close combat. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, see you guys in the next one, enjoy my bot gameplay. I'll follow you no matter where